With the province splitting up Alberta Health Services with legislation tabled this week, public health experts in Alberta say they still have questions around how public health will work in the province and patients falling through the cracks. So for example, while well, there's an agency test with mental health and addictions, mental health and addiction services are also delivered in acute care environments and, and in primary care. So there's a lot of unknowns around what's going to fit where. While well, Alberta's amendments. health minister says says all agencies will ultimately report to her. Public health expert Lorian Hardcastle tells me she still has questions around who will be in charge of what, even when it comes to day-to-day -day public health. Restaurants, daycares, apartment buildings, these are all, all places where public health issues can arise, and it isn't clear if the government intends to manage those centrally or the extent to which Alberta Health Services is going to carry on with, with some of those activities. I reached out to Alberta's Health Ministry for response. They tell me in an email, discussions are ongoing and Alberta's Health Minister will have more to say next week. Last year, the province passed legislation that gives power to Cabinet during times of public health emergency. Hardcastle says the reasons behind it are part of the province's push for centralized power and partly because of the pandemic. And then I do think it is also partly a response to the pandemic. Uh, the Premier has certainly scapegoated AHS and some of its, its leaders. Reporting from Edmonton, Darcy Robchan, City News.